in the UK. I'm deeply troubled by anti-Semitism in Europe and in the UK. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and my wife, Narina Hertz, wrote, wrote a piece about it in The Guardian um, earlier this year. Um, I've never felt uh, so uncomfortable being a Jew in the UK as I felt in the last 12 months. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's made us think about, you know, is it, is it our long-term home, actually? Because, because you feel it. I felt it in a way I've never felt before, actually. I, I don't know whether it's partly about the world we live in now, social media, uh, the speed with which people can contact you, uh, the way messages travel around the world so quickly now. Uh, but certainly, I, I think the uptick in uh, anti-Semitism, both in word and deed, has been deeply troubling in the last 12 months. And, and you've seen the number of attacks rise. You've seen murders in France. You've seen murders in Belgium. Um, it's been it's been pretty grim actually, and 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 having lived all my life in the UK, I've never mm-hmm. felt as I do now about about anti-Semitism in Europe. To, to the extent that you're thinking about, you know, you, you will continue to live there, or or it's not. Well, I think we've probably woken up a couple of times in the last year. It's mm-hmm. calmed down a bit now. It's probably at its worst around protective edge, yeah. uh, where we thought this is this is not nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. this this doesn't feel good. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's settled down a bit now, but I, I, do, I do think there have been times where it, being a Jew in, in the UK in the last year has, has been a, an uncomfortable feeling, yeah. But the interesting thing about it, you're in such a, uh, an important junction in, in the public arena in the UK. Is it something that you think about? Does the private ever mix in with the public and you say to yourself, you know, maybe I should do something? Commission, I, I'm being uh, oversimplifying it, but commission a series about a documentary about anti Semitism. Does it work like that for you? Or well, now you're I, trying I to think, sort of I, I, I think them? I've got to, you know, I'm not, I don't get paid by the BBC or the public via the BBC to, to be a Jewish person running BBC television. <laughs> Uh, so I've got to be careful. Uh, at, at the same time, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very conscious of my Judaism and I, and I think that uh, when you do have opportunities to do the right thing, you can. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm doing a lot around the 70th anniversary of the liberation of the concentration camps in January. Mm-hmm. We're going to do a lot of programs uh, around that in, in January and February. Uh, you know, it's a big, big anniversary, that one, the 70th. And we've got a big drama about Adolf Eichmann, uh, the Eichmann trial in Israel in 1961. Uh, we've got various documentaries uh, we're going to do a lot around that. So, so that's that's something we should do anyway as the BBC because it's such a big moment. But it, it's certainly, when I leave the BBC at whatever point that is, it'll be one of the things I, I'll, I'll be most proud to have been involved with mm-hmm. is is that sequence of programmes on, on the Holocaust. What's interesting for me, and standing back from it, because I, I don't have editorial involvement in it, is but I do see the BBC's complaints logs, <laughs> um, which are lengthy every day. Mm-hmm. And, and, and when the Middle East and when Israel is in, in those complaints logs, you get... 100 complaints about bias uh, against Israel and 100 complaints about bias uh, bias for Israel. And people just watch things and they see different things. Mm-hmm. Uh, does the BBC get every news report, every minute of it and every second of the thousands of hours of content we produce every year? Absolutely right. Mm-hmm. No no news, no broadcasting organisation in the world would. Uh, do the teams work hard to ma- maintain their objectivity? I'd say yes. Mm-hmm. Um, are we perfect? No. But, you know, I mean, obviously... Um, the content that is uh, uh, used for news is on your channels. When you see it, I mean, when you think of, you know, how the BBC uh, um, reported on the recent uh, protective edge operation in Gaza, and it seemed to, even to me, sit, sitting watching it, that, you know, what you're talking about in Gaza is a humanitarian crisis. It has nothing to do with the fact that Hamas is firing rockets over Israel. You know, when you watch it, even as a, as a, as a British citizen, are you... Um, pleased with the way it is Israel is um, reported upon. Uh, yeah, I, I think, as I say, I think you watch some reports and you like some more than others, but then I, I know from our complaints logs that some people who are uh, were against Protective Edge were very unhappy about the way we were presenting mm-hmm. Israel in it. So I think you just always get both sides of the argument. Uh, for me also, I think... We, it's partly about what you do online now as well. I mean, that's one of the interesting things we could talk about. Mm-hmm. You know, how you bring together the explanations and, 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 and things you do online in your news coverage mm-hmm. with what you're doing in television has become so important to us now, really.